The images in this episode are a reminder that Mars is a planet like Earth where the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. And in a cosmic coincidence, Mars rotates once on its axis in a very Earth-like 24 hours and 39 minutes. We call that a sol. Our moon takes about an Earth month and Venus takes about 243 Earth days. In this spectacular panorama from Mascam Z, the layered cliffs of the east-facing delta are already in partial shadow at about 11 in the morning. If you want to see fully sunlit cliffs to help show the layers, you've got to wake up and take pictures in the early morning, and that's what Perseverance did several sols ago. On Sol 77 at 7.30 a.m., Mascam Z started by imaging its color calibration target. This ensures that subsequent images can be calibrated with similar lighting conditions. There's a real sense of morning on Mars in this little scene. The light seems mellower and the shadows are long. Compare that to the same scene at 11 a.m. and then at 2 in the afternoon. The shadows shorten before growing longer in the other direction, and the light gets a bit more intense as its path through the atmosphere shortens. At 7.35 a.m., Mastcam Z turned toward a portion of the delta and shot this scene. I can introduce Mars Guy for a sense of scale. The rolling dunes are a few hundred meters away from the camera, and the delta is just over two kilometers away. In between is the rim of a small impact crater, but with Mars Guy in the scene, it becomes clear that the boulders produced in this violent event eons ago are still really big. At 8 a.m. on Sol 77, the telescope of SuperCam got in on the action, taking three different shots across roughly 80 meters of bedrock. And once again, Mars Guy helps to show the scale of what probably are top set beds of the Delta deposit. And now the view from orbit puts it all into context. <laughs> 